action. So today's lesson, frame within a frame. Frame within a frame. <laughs> this video I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make your wedding films look a little bit more cinematic actually not a little bit look more cinematic with these techniques um, cinematic techniques that you can use for your wedding films so this series is called cinematography simplified so I simplify these techniques so that way somebody who's just starting out or somebody who's not too familiar with the whole you know film knowledge and stuff like that can kind of get the point and put these techniques to use in their wedding films so this series is called cinematography simplified so this is episode three i have episode one and two already that are posted in january this series is called cinematography simplified and hopefully you guys get some value and hopefully I teach you something that you didn't know or maybe just add a little bit more knowledge to what you already know so yes yeah, so let's go we're gonna be talking about this technique that's used in uh, cinematography called frame within a frame so what's a frame within a frame I'll try and simplify this I'm not gonna try and go into too much detail. I'll try and simplify everything. That's why this series is called Cinematography Simplified. So, yes. So frame within a frame is, you just frame your subject within another frame. So you just frame your subject within another frame. So I'll give you a lot of examples as we go through um, this video, but I want to add a little bit of depth into um, this technique. So like, you know, some people think like, or when they watch wedding videos or when they watch films, they're like, oh, that person is just too talented or that person is just, I don't know how they do, how their wedding films uh, you know look so cinematic the reason why their wedding films look so cinematic is because they understand cinematography they understand composition they understand all that stuff and the reason why they understand is because they learned that stuff they started that stuff nobody just knows something from nothing you know they have to learn that stuff they have to study that stuff so just like I'm teaching you because I learned this stuff, you know, so you watch videos and you're like, oh my God, why is this person's video, you know, looking so like makes you want to cry. If you watch a lot of wedding films on YouTube, some of them like you're like, oh my God, how do they do the color grading? It's because they understand color grading. They started color grading. How do they, uh, how do they, uh, focus on the details, depth of field, you know, like leading, like you might not know what's making you feel that way when you're watching, but the reason why you feel a certain way when you're watching something or a movie and you're like, damn, that movie is so good, it's so cinematic, oh my God, it's because the creators of that film, you know, they understand cinematography. They understand to tell a story visually pleasing to the eye. Because <clears throat> if you understand how to make something visually pleasing to the eye, you are always going to get the reaction you want from the audience. 
You understand that? Let me say that again. Let me let me say that again. If you understand how to tell a story visually and make it visually pleasing to the eye, you can evoke whatever emotion you want to evoke in the audience. You can like grab your audience by the you know like grabbing the boom by the horns you know you can grab like you can grab the attention that's why some people don't want to like oh i don't want to leave no 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 no. they want to keep watching it's because the creators the uh, the the director of photography you know uh, the person in charge of the cinematography they understand what's going to make somebody keep watching they understand something that's going to be a picture motion picture that's going to be visually pleasing to the eye you know so there's this technique that um that directors of photography use called frame within a frame so in this technique it's like it's nothing you like it's it's using photography as well like you look at it like it's nothing you know it's like okay so is this just um okay it's just a frame you know it's just a motion picture or it's just a picture but psychologically certain pictures certain um, certain images certain motion pictures are visually pleasing to the eye that you might not even know it but just you are like drawn to certain things you know like unknowingly you are drawn to certain things the eyes the mind is drawn to certain things unknowingly so that's why I made this series so you guys can kind of you know understand what makes uh, some waiting films more cinematic than other films you know than other wedding films you know because the, the filmmakers that do those wedding films, they understand cinematography. They understand, they, they understand, you know, composition. They understand these filmmaking techniques that make people, like, you know, that evoke emotions. You know, that make people like, oh my God, this is so good, or this is so cinematic. Because it's because they study that and they understand um, the fundamentals and, you know, the advanced stuff about cinematography so once you basically start to understand cinematography you're gonna make films that are visually pleasing to the eye you know like once you do it a lot it's just gonna be second nature to you the way it is to me now it's like I can go and film something and without even like knowing I'm I'm doing this technique I'll just my mind will just be doing it because I've learned what's visually pleasing just to look at you know so once you study these techniques you can make wedding films that make people say oh my god that made me cry oh my god that's so good that's so cinematic because you understand photography and you understand how to make films that are visually and are going to be visually pleasing to the eyes. Okay, so what I'm going to use now is I'm going to use the trees. Say it again.
As you can see, you can get creative with frames within a frame. This is a beautiful frame right here. So this is a beautiful frame shot right here. Frame within a frame. The reason this is frame within a frame is because she's between that frame of the door. See? Yes. So it's a frame within a frame. Okay? And if you want to make it even more interesting, here you go. Frame within a frame within a frame. I explained to um, my second shooter, Melissa, who um, does videography with me. I explained to her what frame within a frame is because she didn't know what, you know, frame within a frame. So she's learning, as I'm teaching you guys, she's learning these techniques. So I told her what frame within a frame was and she started spotting frames within a frame she's like oh my god that's from within a frame she's like oh look that's from within a frame oh look i'm trying to do the frame within a frame you know so like these techniques i used in hollywood these techniques are used by you know like uh like well-known filmmakers directors like like these techniques are techniques that the big companies use you know the steven spielbergs these are the techniques these dudes use. So once you start understanding the techniques that these dudes use, you're gonna be on some, you know, you're gonna be onto something. You're gonna start making films that nobody else is making. So um, I'm not gonna stay too long on this topic, you know, because I want to make this short. Uh, my last video, my last video was a little bit longer. It was a little bit longer than. I wanted it to be I felt like you know I have to simplify these things that's why it's called cinematography simplified so just to you know wrap this whole thing up a frame within a frame is you framing your subject or whatever you're filming in another frame so I'll give you a lot of examples but that's all it is you framing whatever you're filming into another frame you're just framing it between two other frames it could be you know trees it could be the bridge it could be a window it could be a dough you know just anything it can be anything it can be a circle it could be any shape oval you know as long as you frame something within something that's what a frame within a frame technique is so that's what that technique is frame within a frame some people call it you know sub framing but i call it frame within a frame but call it what you want it's still the same thing so it's used in photography and it's used in videography so this technique will make your wedding films look more cinematic it will definitely look make your wedding films look way more cinematic than they otherwise were going to be so thank you for watching guys so that's frame within a frame so whenever you are weddings just look around and see what you can frame within another frame and um you're gonna be on to something you're gonna start making you know your videos look more cinematic so that's that guys frame within a frame it's so visually pleasing to the eye guys and that's making it cinematic so that's that guys it's your boy francis and this series is called cinematography simplified this is episode three i already have episode one and two on leading lines and repetition so you guys go and watch that video it's a little bit longer because it's two episodes but um it's something that you need to watch so that way you know you can get to understand these psychological techniques used by filmmakers so i'll catch you guys in the next video next sunday thank you for watching appreciate it